हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी डबल इंटीग्रेशन सो इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू इवेल्युएट डबल इंटीग्रेशन सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन टू टाइप्स ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन फर्स्ट इन कार्टेशन फॉर्म इवेल्युएशन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इन कार्टेशन फॉर्म एंड इवेल्युएशन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन बाय ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग टू पोलर फॉर्म सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इवेल्युएशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन इन कार्टेशन फॉर्म सो सपोज गिवन इंटीग्रेशन इज डबल इंटीग्रेशन ओवर आर एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई डी एक्स डी वाई सो वी आर गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट दिस फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एंड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एंड रिमेंबर द मेथड ऑफ इवेल्युएटिंग डबल इंटीग्रल डिपेंड्स ऑन नेचर ऑफ कर्व्स बाउंडिंग द रीजन आर सो सपोज हियर आवर रीजन आर इज बाउंडेड बाय x equals to x1, x equals to x1, x2. These are limits of x, x1 to x2. And uh, y equals to y1 and y equals to y2. So y1 and y2 are limits of y. So there are two possibilities. Either limits of x are functions of y or limits of y are functions of x. So first of all, I explain first case in which limits of x are functions of y and here limits of x are denoted by x1 and x2 so when x1 x2 are functions of y and y1 y2 are constants means limits of y are constants so remember if limits of x are functions of y then we take strip parallel to x axis what i say if limits of x are functions of y then we take strip parallel to x axis and that of if limits of y are functions of x if limits of y are functions of x then we take strip parallel to y axis and strip parallel to y axis means vertical strip so in this first case since limits of x are functions of y so we take strip parallel to which axis x axis that means we take horizontal strip in r okay so see here here region r is bounded by x1 equals to f1 of y and x2 equals to f2 of y means x1 and x2 are functions of y and that of y y1 is equals to a and y2 is equals to b so this is our region of integration so first of all using these boundaries we draw the region of integration so suppose this is our region of integration so since here limits of x are functions of y so we take strip parallel to x axis that is horizontal strip so with the help of these limits we are going to evaluate this integration okay now here remember one more thing we always take constant limits outside so here if you observe limits of x are not constant but limits of y are constant that's why we take this constant limits outside because we have two integrations right so this one is outer integration and this one is inner integration we always take constant limits outside so here limits of y are constant that's why we take outer integration with respect to this outer integration with respect to y and that of inner integration will be with respect to x okay so our given integration can be written as integration where y varies from a to b and inner integration where x varies from f1 of y to f2 of y f of x y so since inner integration is with respect to x so first we write dx and outer with respect to y so secondly we write dy and first we evaluate inner integration which integration we evaluate first inner integration okay so since here inner integration is taken with respect to x so we evaluate this integration of f of x y with respect to x we apply its limits and the result obtained is further integrated with respect to y so this is the process of evaluation of double integration okay now i explain second case so what will be second case so our second case is when limits of y are functions of x so when limits of y are functions of x so we take strip parallel to which axis strip parallel to y axis that's why here 
we take strip parallel to y axis means vertical strip okay and here limits of x are constant so first of all we write the region so here region r is bounded by y1 equals to f1 of x because here y1 and y2 are functions of x so in general here we take y1 equals to f1 of x and y2 equals to f2 of x uh, here limits of y are functions of x okay and limits of x1 and x2 limits of x are constant so here x1 equals to a and x2 equals to b okay so due to these limits of y variable limits of y here we take strip parallel to y axis that is vertical strip okay and uh, we always take constant limits outside so since here limits of x are constant so we take this outer integration with respect to x so obviously inner integration with respect to y f of x y as it is and since inner integration is with respect to y so first we write dy so concentrate on order of this dx and dy also huh? so since here inner integration is with respect to y so first we write dy and secondly we write dx then we evaluate this inner integration of f of x y with respect to y we apply limits of y and the result obtained is further integrated with respect to x so this is nothing but evaluation of double integration if x limits of x are functions of y then take strip parallel to x axis if limits of y are functions of x then take strip parallel to y axis okay thank you in next video um, i'm going to tell tell you how to solve problems okay thank you